welcome back to the info flux today we have got an exciting tutorial for you we are going to dive into the world of iot using esp8266 module by the end of this video you will be able to control an led from anywhere in the world and monitor sensor value using the power of the internet so if you are ready to get started let's jump right in we will require the following components for this project esp8266 potentiometer leds and breadboard connect the anode of the leds with digital pin 3 4 5 and 6 respectively connect the cathode with the ground connect one pin of the potentiometer with 3.3 volt of the esp8266 connect the middle pin of the potentiometer with a not pin of the esp8266 connect the other pin of the potentiometer with ground <laughs> The Arduino IoT Cloud is a platform that allows anyone to create IoT projects with a user-friendly interface and an all-in-one solution for configuration, writing code, uploading and visualization. First open the Arduino IoT Cloud. I have provided the Arduino IoT Cloud link in the description. The Arduino IoT Cloud website will be opened. Then we will click on the Get Started. then click on the create one enter the required credentials and click on the sign up button then open the gmail account and verify the email click on the confirm now Now click on the dots and click on the IoT cloud. Now click on the add variable. Enter the required credentials for the variable.
repeat the same process for other variables. In associate device, click on the select device. Then click on the setup device and select third party device. In ESP8266, select the node MCU and click on the continue button. Give the name to the button and click on the next button. Then download the PDF which will consist device ID and secret key. Then click on the configure in the network. Enter the Wi-Fi name and password and copy the secret ID and paste it. Then click on the sketch. Now download create agent to upload the code and install it. Then select the required port and make several changes in the code to control the LEDs and monitor the potential meter values.
select the port and upload the code to the node mcu After uploading the code to the node mcu click on the dashboard then click on the create button add the switch and link the required variable Repeat the same process for other three switches. Also add the gauge to monitor the potentiometer values Now we will install Arduino IDE app in the mobile. Open the Play Store and search for the Arduino IDE Cloud and install it. After installing the Arduino IoT app, open the app and enter the email and password and click on the continue button. The dashboard will be appear from which we can control the LEDs and monitor the potentiometer values. I 
आई हैव डन टू वे कम्युनिकेशन यूजिंग आइडिनो आई टी क्लाउड फर्स्ट आई हैव कंट्रोल्ड एल ई डीज एंड देन आई मोनिटर द पोटेंशियो मीटर वैल्यू वी कैन कंट्रोल द एल ई डीज एंड मोनिटर पोटेंशियो मीटर वैल्यूज फ्राम बोथ मोबाइल एंड कंप्यूटर By replacing the LEDs, you can control various home appliances, and you can replace the potentiometer with sensor to monitor the values. That's it. We have successfully created first Arduino IoT project using the ESP8266. The possibilities with IoT are endless, and this is just the beginning. I encourage you to experiment. and build on this project try adding sensors expanding the web interface or connecting more devices the world of iot is waiting for your creativity if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more exciting arduino and iot tutorials thanks for watching and see you in the next video